In this video, I'm going to share with you four paths to be able to make money in real estate. And I'm also going to share with you the pros and cons of each. Let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Rindy from Ask Rindy, and welcome to the number one community for real estate income and credit. So if you'd like to know what the four career options are in real estate, how to make money in them, and what their pros and cons are, make sure you watch the video to the end and leave a comment below if you need help with anything. So these are your four main paths and options to be able to build a real estate career and a very lucrative real estate business. Number one is to become a real estate investor. Number two, becoming a real estate agent or realtor. Number three, becoming a real estate wholesaler. And number four, becoming a creative real estate entrepreneur. So we'll start with number one, becoming a real estate investor. So becoming a real estate investor can be a very rewarding and lucrative career. You can buy whole properties, you can fix and flip, you can rehab, you can also do joint ventures with other investors, you can invest in REITs, and the networking that you can do can create a, a plethora of lifelong relationships that will stay with you throughout your real estate career. So as an investor, for an example, the properties that you buy and hold, the equity position that you have in those properties can actually lend a lot to your net worth. As a fix and flipper, you gain profits from all the deals that you're doing, and that can also add to your net worth. In addition to that, rehabbing, a joint venturing with other investors and also investing in REITs can make it very lucrative for you. The con to being an investor is that oftentimes, sometimes, there's not loyalty in deals. So you may find a deal that may be very lucrative and you may be really chomping at the bit to work something out with the homeowner if it's a one-on-one -on -one transaction where you're dealing with the homeowner directly as opposed to like dealing with a bank. However, there's a lot of competition in this particular space and so becoming an investor, you're competing with a lot of other people that are probably contacting the same people. So you have to kind of like differentiate yourself or keep this in mind that you will be competing with many others depending on the city that you're in, depending on your level of volume and your level of how much you lay out for marketing, etc. So just keep that in mind that the investor space is very competitive and there are few that stand themselves out or are able to actually craft a difference from all the other investors that claim to have money and claim to be able to have done many deals as they're sharing with some of these homeowners and these groups that they're dealing with. So the second career option could be becoming a real estate agent. Now becoming a real estate agent or realtor can be not only very lucrative but a very rewarding experience. I've actually been licensed for over 19 years. I've sold tens of millions of dollars in real estate and I've helped thousands of people all across the U.S. And I can share with you that it is an experience that you have to go through where you become a problem solver. And becoming a problem solver is someone that is a source can differentiate you from all the others. There are many realtors that are moving around. There are many people who you're going to approach that have either a family member or a friend that's a realtor. Getting the license is not that difficult. Making a mark for yourself in the industry and crafting yourself to becoming a career, so a high six-figure earner, seven-figure earner, and a high volume uh, top seller, that's a different ballgame altogether. So I can share with you that becoming a real estate agent is not just getting a license in school because you have to get into the game and understand the intricacies of not only the market, but how to negotiate, how to talk to people, how to solve problems, what their issues are, and craft your business around that while building a brand for yourself. As I train agents on my team, as I grow my group, I can share with you that we've established thresholds for all the people that are working with us. Most of the agents on my group are expected to do a minimum of 24 deals a year. So that should put them in the neighborhood of around $124,000 a year. And there's a plan that we have, we have a business plan, we actually take it very seriously, and we go at this where we have daily actions that needs to be done and executed. We also have branding that's incorporated in there and we want to make sure that we blend things so that they have a, a, a way to stand out as opposed to anyone else in their local market. So that's very important because if you are going to become a real estate agent, as you know, there's a lot of competition in that space and that's one of the biggest cons because when you're approaching homeowners, they always say, you're no different than the next agent. Well, you have to make yourself different. So there are tools that we use from a marketing perspective and also tactics and strategies that we use to make ourselves very effective and stand out where we can do a lot of deals and not really have any competition in those spaces. So becoming a real estate agent can be very lucrative and very rewarding. If you'd like to know more about that, please email me. My email address is ashrindynow.gmail.com. I'll be happy to share more with you about our group and what we're doing to make ourselves different. We actually are licensed with eXp Realty here in the U.S. A third career option to be able to make money in real estate would be becoming a real estate wholesaler. Now, with real estate wholesaling is different. When you're a real estate agent, what you're doing is you're brokering property, real property. So you're selling houses. 
When you're a wholesaler, you're flipping paper. So in essence, you're contacting a homeowner and you're putting the property in the contract. And you're actually putting that property in a contract with the right and the ability to be able to sign your rights on that deal to someone else. So as a wholesaler, your, your job is to source properties and find homeowners that are willing to work with you and then put the properties in a contract. Then you actually assign that contract to someone else for a fee. And that fee is basically your wholesale fee, and that's why it's called wholesaling real estate. It involves real estate, however, you're flipping paper as opposed to actually real property. So, of course, the downside to this, again, is a lot of competition and mostly lack of deals. So, you may do a wholesale deal six months, and then another eight months, you don't do one. Because you're finding people who are motivated and w want to sell their property at a discount, where you can actually pad some money on top and flip it for a profit. So it's very important to understand the intricacies of that, finding the deal, and also how to have consistent deal flow with this particular part of real estate. It can be very lucrative, however, it can be very, very, very uh, competitive. And the fourth way to make money in real estate is to become a creative real estate entrepreneur. Now I have to say, out of all of these, this is the space that I'm in. I've actually had to look at all of these because I am all of these. I'm an investor, I'm a real estate agent, and I also have a wholesale operation. And I'm gonna share with you that the creative part oversees all of that because you need to be able to be creative and, an, and a problem solver. You need to have options for homeowners and that only comes with having some background in creative real estate structuring, how to strategize, how to put deals together, what to do is not a one size fit all situation. But when you get into this creative real estate space, you're now moving towards moving from just a small time business person to someone who's gonna move up the ranks and eventually become a developer and do larger deals. So as a creative real estate entrepreneur, it involves all of these all combined together. And what you're doing is you're a master problem solver and in turn taking this and converting this to be able to make it a very lucrative career for yourself. So you may find a homeowner that's in need and they need to have a problem solved and you're able to t discuss with them subject to lease options. You're, you're able to talk to them about seller financing. You can talk to them about interim foreclosures. You arrange, it's, it covers everything. Foreclosures, loan modifications, all things that have to do with distress, things that have to do with creative ways to be able to structure getting themselves out of their issue, or creative ways to be able to structure deals to be able to make it more lucrative. You know about variances. You know about how to structure things so that you can take the use of a property and instead of making $30,000, you're able to make $300,000, $350,000, $450,000 with the same space. So that's really what I've actually invested myself in and I surround myself with mentors that are teaching me and pouring into me more creative real estate strategies to be able to implement. So this is what I want to encourage you to become a creative real estate entrepreneur. These, all these career paths are lucrative and they're good but if you can become a creative real estate entrepreneur that is the top of the top that's a creme de la creme you're going to differentiate yourself from everyone else and you're really going to make more money and you're going to stand out so if you'd like to know more about creative real estate strategies and you'd like to know more about how we get properties with no money down and how we actually structure deals including rent to own and including things that we do with seller financing that are creative please reach out to me my email address is asreadynow.gmail.com I also highly encourage you to join our rental own program if you want to learn and position yourself to be able to get non-stop deals where you never have any famine. You're always having deals, whether you're a real estate agent, whether you're a wholesaler, whether you're an investor, you always have deals in your pipeline. If you want to learn how to have that and how to make over 100 deals a year, how to make seven figures a year, six figures a year, then definitely join our rental own program. Just click the link below and you can also email me anytime now at gmail.com. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Until next time, thank you so much for watching.